All right, yogis. Here we are, Monday afternoon, 4 p.m. flow, Raga flow to be exact. Um, pop the playlist on um, IG Raga story if you'd like to follow along. I made one yesterday while taking a nice long walk. So if you want to put that on, um, go for it. Um, again, there is a link you should find right in um, Instagram story. Or if you're looking to follow me on Spotify, where you can get a whole bunch of playlists, super easy. It's Christine James Lamborn, see a playlist. And I'll also put up my link for my SoundCloud if you're interested in that as well. That's just Raga Yoga, super easy to find. And um, there are dozens of playlists. So, all right. Here I am in silence. I've been enjoying this uh, new habit of practicing without music. Right? I'm just hearing my breath, right? imagining each of you, and moving through. So that's what we'll do. Right? We'll sit to begin quietly and coming into our breath, listening to that, let its rhythm. Feed us as we prepare for practice. So the sound, the rhythm, the tempo, all of that draws you in. Soften through the shoulders, ease of the jaw, the throat, the teeth, the tongue. The eyelids themselves are heavy. Fix the gaze, tip of the nose or into the heart. Whether your palms are up or palms are down, lengthen the arms out without tension. Just straighten the arms and bring thumbs and forefingers to connect. That can be hands resting upon knees or palms turned upward, inner and outer worlds. Connect, the other three fingers extend. As you breathe in, let the breath travel through the crown of the head, lengthening through the vertebrae and awakening the spine. Exhale, breath travels back up and out. Allow the belly and the pelvic floor to be soft and receptive as the lungs fill that gentle pressure downward as the diaphragm expands inhaling opening breath fills through the lungs and on the out breath a slight lift and contraction of both the pelvic floor lifting and the abdominal slightly contracting backwards sends the breath up and out through the crown let's take three more rounds of breath seeing if we can track this line this natural rhythm of the body as the breath draws in the spine gently lengthens the pelvic floor softens the belly fills the receptacle receives and on the out breath gentle lift of the pelvic floor gentle draw back of the belly and the breath travels back up and out two more rounds in through the nose And out through the crown. And even here, we feel the rooting, the downward pressure on the in breath. And the out breath is that rebound of lift rising up and out. Inhale, float the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Thank yourself for showing up. Even if it's just going from the couch to the screen, you took the time, you took the care, you set up, you showed up, and you are here to practice. Honor that.
Set your personal intention. Where is it that you're heading? What are you looking to serve through practice right now? And plant that seed. Thumbs to third eye when complete, arms extend, eyes open, breath in, exhale, release those hands. Nice. I'd like to start right onto hands and knees. Let's move. Okay. Fingers are spread wide, the palms are planted, resting underneath the shoulders. Blocks, if you may care to have them, blanket nearby, having those accessories as they were are always nice for practice. Looking down, my knees are right underneath the hips and the feet disappear behind. Little drum roll for the feet. Awaken up the top of the toes. Little pound, 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 pound. And then flex, tuck the toes under, push back onto the heels. Maybe so much that the knees even lift. Pull the belly in. Exhaling, knees down, inhale, come on up and forward. Bend the elbows, let them draw out, and then hug the elbows in, inner elbows point forward. Inhale, elbows bend out, exhale, tuck in, straighten them out. One more, inhale, out, turning them in, press, inner elbows present forward. Inhale, tuck those toes. This time, lift yourself all the way up and send those hips back into your down dog. And walk the dog, bending one leg and then the other. And I like to track this, not just what's happening through the legs, but all the way out through the arms, underneath the arms, side body, fingers. Your next breath in, go ahead and lift up all 10 toes, round it forward into plank. Exhale, knees down, sit back, child's pose. Feet are flexed here once more. And inhale, just pull forward, opening simply the chest. Exhale, press back down. Think of these as just waves through the heart. Inhale, extend chest forward. Exhale, lengthen ribs to thighs, heart, and then head. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lengthen down. One more, inhale. We'll pull forward with the hands at the top. Exhale, lengthen back down. Forehead rest. And then let's think about bringing the hands together, palms to prayer, elbows bend, prayer comes behind the head. Elbows consistently walk forward, thinking of armpits towards the earth. Lengthen through the fingers and kind of track those pinkies together, rings together, middles, index, and thumb. How does the energy between the palms feel? Two more breaths here. And then release. Go ahead and let the hands lengthen out. Palms still stay together. Cross the thumbs. Inhale. Come on to elbows here. Flatten the feet. Tops of the feet are down this time, closing in a little closer to the earth. And then from here, we'll lift up. So just the tips of the middle fingers touch. Elbows lift, wrist lift, right? Shoulder blades lift. Feeling as if you're diving into a pool. Try to draw the hips down to the heels as the heart consistently lengthens forward. We're looking to flatten and lengthen the spine, not overly round it. Two more breaths here. Trying to keep that pinky side of the hand together. Nice, and then lengthen the arms out, open the hands, shoulder distance. We're gonna come back to the dog, back to down dog. Lift it up and send it back. All right, right leg's gonna raise up here, bend the knee and open up the hip. Inhale, straighten it out, set it down. Let's do that again, same side. Inhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. And then exhale, lengthen and place it down. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift it, bend the knee and open up the hip. And then go ahead and place it down. Shift briefly forward into plank. Little reset here, press and take it back up. And then let's do that on the left. Inhale, lift the leg, reaching high, and then you open up the hip, and then exhale, place it down. Smooth long breath, inhaling. Little pause at the top, 
and exhaling, bringing it down. One more, inhale, push the heel, little pause at the top, and then exhale, place it down. Inhale, shift forward into plank, hold here, and this time we're gonna set the knees down. It can be one and then the other, or both at the same time, knees underneath hips. Inhale, cow pose, sway back here, pulling the mat towards the knees, opening the chest. Exhale, press and round cat pose. Inhale, neutral. Extend the right leg back, toes on the mat, balance through the hips, picking up that left hip, push through the right leg, and then bend the knee, open up the hip here. Try not to sink on that left side. Stay with me here or tuck the toes under and lift it on up, returning to that hip opening down dog. Inhale, walking hands back to standing leg. A little broken standing split. And then let's go ahead and set that right foot onto the earth next to the left. Inhale, half lift from the back of the mat. Exhale, full fold. All right, stand it up this time. Breathe it in, open the heart. Exhale, dive it down, lengthen through. Inhale, look to the top of the mat and return to your dog. Inhale, pull forward, plank. And as we did before, knees underneath hips. Nice. Inhale, open the heart, cow pose. Exhale, press and round, cat pose. Inhale, returning to neutral. Left leg extends back, toes start on the ground. Right hip is picked up, right rib cage is pulled in. Being very aware of the two sides, so I'm not dumping into that right. Bend the left knee and open up the hip. Again, strong through the right. Stay with me here on the knee or take it up to the dog. Utilizing that right leg, that right strength, that right foot to lift the left knee. Go ahead and walk it back if you're comfortable taking that broken split. And then from here, gently rotate left hip, left foot to the ground, two feet onto the ground. Inhale, half lift, extension of the spine. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, sweep it up, reach it up. Exhale, dive it back down, lead with the heart. Inhale, gaze forward, walk it out, down dog. Next breath, send you into that plank once again. Press and hold, knees down hands and knees. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee and open up the hip, tuck the left toes under, and coming up once again. Beautiful. Inhale, everything lengthens out. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands. Pick it up, lengthen out. Set the back knee down, lifting up low lunge, arms raised. Exhale, hands to heart, little rotation to the right. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, hands to front thigh, bend that knee deeply. Pushing the floor away, trying not to dump forward, trying to get some distance, right hip off, right thigh. Two more breaths. Nice. Step back, down dog. Inhale, shift forward, plank. Beautiful. And then from here again, knees down. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. Inhale, left leg long. Bend the knee and open up the hip, delivering back to the dog. Inhale, lengthen that leg out. Exhale, step it through. Foot between the hands. Back knee to the earth. Inhale, rise up. And then playing that back shin down, that top of the foot, that ankle. Use it. Exhale, rotate. Unwind to center, hands to front thigh. And again, we'll bend the knee deeper. Not trying to dump with the left hip forward. In fact, I'm actively trying to bring my right hip forward and pull my left hip back in order to find some semblance of balance here. Forward, reaching forward, center gaze. Keeping that left heel firmly rooted down. Tracking 
inner right thigh rolling back and up. And go ahead and undo, stepping back, down dog. Inhale, shifting forward plank. Exhale, knees down. This time, bend the elbows. Everything's lowering down to the earth. Take the hands behind you, hook the thumbs, and then reach them back. Use that to lift the chest. So thumb hooks, fingers spread wide, just the chest lifts. The legs are down, the legs are grounded. And release to the earth. Press it up and send it back. Walk hands all the way back to the feet. And this time we'll be squatting with both heels down. So I always need a little cushion for this. Popping the heels down, I want to keep weight into the heels. Feet are hip distance apart, two fists between them. Bend the knees and sweep through. And the arms are really how that serves you. Sometimes I really like to hug them in, that's helpful for me. I may challenge to bring them further forward, but I'm not trying to round. In fact, I keep trying to come into as much of a neutral spine as I can. Inhale, press all the way up. Nice, exhale, come on back down. Inhale up, exhale, come on back down. Again, inhale up, exhale, come on back down. Stay here, come into the balls of the feet and let's balance up. Thighs parallel, shoulders back over hips. Stay with me and we'll work here. We'll belly in, come on, bring the heels down and then press up on into them. Let's transition. Exhale back through squat. Inhale onto the balls of the feet. Exhale back through, heels down. And inhale, you're rising. Again, exhale down through squat. Neutral with the feet. Inhale, balls of the feet, shifting forward, shoulders back. Exhale, hollowing belly. And then rounding up. One more in you. Here we go. Come on down. Shifting forward, balls of the feet. Hold. Hold here. Beautiful. Nice and gently. Use hands if you want for breaks. We're going to set the knees down. Inhale, lift up. Left leg forward, right knee bends. Nice. Hand side to side of the front frame foot. Straighten it out, lengthen it out. And then as you bend the knee, shift to half side lunge. Float the right arm long. Take the left hand by the left leg and inhale, open up to the right. And then keep the right leg long. Bring the left right hand towards the right leg and then open up to the left. Weights more into the heels. Hips are working back. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and shift it over to the right. From here, set the back knee down. Okay. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, here we go, this side, straighten out the front leg, rock it. Rock it onto the heel, little half split, heart shining forward. And then as we sit down, we're already preparing to turn, right? Pivoting through, half, side lunge. Okay. Nice. Arms are long and wide. We're going to let that left arm float to begin with. The right arm comes on the inside, opening up back to that left side that we just were. Different leg position. And then take that long left arm, finding somewhere on the left foot, left ankle, left shin, and open up to the right. Two more breaths. And these long lines through the inner line of the leg and then up through rotation. Beautiful, pivot around, and then let's meet two feet at the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold. Nice, inhale, wide swoop up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, preparation's complete. Let's work our way into a flow. Sweeping, arms forward, chair pose, ukatasana. And then exhale, fold right over the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your way back to plank pose. Shift yourself slightly forward, lowering through chaturanga. And then up dog. Tops of the feet down and rooted chest open. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee and open up the hip, coming into a full flip. 
up and over, hips are high. And then exhale, we're taking right foot up to the top of the mat, back knee down, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, rotational twist to the right. Inhale, low lunge, down the knee deep. Exhale, hands down, half split, rock it. Inhale, pivot, coming up, side lunge, right bend. Nice, inhale, open arms wide to the left. And then exhale, open arms up to the right. Beautiful, and then sweep it on over. Hands down, step back, plank, chaturanga. Up dog, and down dog. Left leg will lift here. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Come into a flip up and then push up through the feet to lift the hips. Inhale, coming around. Left leg coming to the top of the mat. Back knee down. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate left. Inhale, moving forward. Front knee bends, a little deeper here, working that flexion in the front of the foot and the ankle. Long line through the back inner leg. Rock it to the half. Heart extends forward. And then as you come up, pivoting. Wide. Nice. Opening up to the right. And then switching the hands, not the legs. Take it back to the left. Inhale, travel to the top. And step back. Plank. Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Nice, inhale onto all 10 toes, bend the knees, look forward, step walk or float it, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, chair pose, rising. And then exhale, low, 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 working to a boat pose, boat pose. Nice, keep the right leg in, let the left leg extend. Extended boat pose. Maybe the hands push away. We're coming up, boat pose, and then switch it out, left in, right away. Hold here, hands at heart, or pressing overhead. Pull the knee in, inhale, boat pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip, flip as we've done. And then side plank, hold, foot travels, knee in, hold. Now foot to the top, beautiful, back heel down. It's a warrior one. We're coming up, warrior one. Straighten out the front leg, pyramid fold. Inhale, bend the front leg, warrior one. Stay with me, exhale, rotational side angle. Rotating to the right. Inhale, sweep it up. Straighten the front leg, revolve triangle. Sweep the right arm under, bending the front leg. Warrior one, return. And then again, little pivot, skandhasana or half lunge. If you want to go deeper and you feel prepared, maybe coming up onto the heel of the back leg. Inhale, open to the left. Nice. And then open to the right. Beautiful. Transition all the way across. Two hands down. Step back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Two down dog. Left leg floats. We'll begin same here. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Flip. Push the hips. Open the heart. Nice. Side plank, squaring up the hips, and then that back top left leg is gonna pull in. Hold here, it's just like the boat. You're just a sideways boat, ready to tip boat, and then foot to the top. Back heel down, we raise up, warrior one. We fold, exhale, pyramid. And then we'll come on up and do basically those same two, just adding rotation. So it's a warrior one, but I'm adding now my rotation. Coming around to the left. Inhale, sweep out. Front leg straightens, hip clips back, and we take that rotation now into revolve trikonasana.
sweep it back to warrior one. And then we're gonna take that little quarter turn, Skandasana, right, Skandasana. With heels down, maybe right toes up. Inhale, open left, exhale in. Inhale, open right, and exhale in. Transition all the way over to the right, left foot joins. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Ukatasana, chair pose. And chair pose is going to take us all the way up. Little bit of a back bend. Inhale, back up. Interlace and turn the palms tall. Okay, feet are active, palms to the sky. Front ribs pull in, neutralize. Arms hugged by the ears, side bend to the right. Right arm pulls through the left. Inhale, ground lifts you up. Take that exhale and then take another inhale. On the exhale, go to the left. No need to rush it. Left arm does a little more work pulling through the right. Nice. Inhale back up. Exhale, release. Chair pose. Here we go. Chair pose. Nice. Scooping the belly in. We're coming down to boat again. Tuck in, tuck in. I know I'm never really graceful at that one, but here we are, boat pose. Rocky seas as it are. All right, right knee in. Left elbow comes across. Stay up high or take this one whoop, low. Okay. But you got to get back up. Inhale, boat pose. Nice. So again, I can rotate here. Pressing the pedal on the right, pulling the left knee in, or if you want to begin to lower down, work with it here. Extended twist. Nice. We got to come back up though, take it in the right up. And then over those legs, here we go. Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Right leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Flip it with me. Up and over, hips are hot. And then again, we're a side plank. We're a side plank. We're a side plank with the right knee into the chest. Beautiful. And then we're going to see if we can keep the right knee into the chest. Turn to right hand side plank. Right leg travels under and through. So flipping around. And there you go. Beautiful. Down dog, right leg in the air. Right foot steps to the top of the mat, back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Wide now, breathe it in. And then inhale, reverse. Exhale, trikonasana. Beautiful. Inhale up, all the way back to skandasana. And up. And warrior two. Nice. So we've got a little further to go on this revolution. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, coming around once again, all the way around the outside. Inhale, lengthen all the way back out. Warrior two. Breathe it into reverse. Straighten the leg here. Exhale, trikonasana. Nice. Now inhale, lift out about halfway, and then begin to rotate here. Left hand down, opening up, revolve trikonasana. Nice, bending the knee, lifting the back heel. We're coming into revolved half moon, okay? So revolved half moon, I'm gonna use my brick. I'm gonna let my brick travel about a foot in front of me. Heel to block is hip to shoulder. Give it space, especially when we're working rotation. I'm gonna step it forward and up, lifting the back heel, and then opening up through, rotating. Try not to let that back tail drop. Keep pushing that left heel to the sky, rotating the heart around. Belly pulls in, push away from the earth. Root and rebound always, feel the lift as you press down. Nice, 
return all the way back through warrior two. Take your time, back foot down, and then the upper body can come around. Nice, breath in, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, open left, exhale, come on in. Inhale, open right, exhale, come on in, and rotate. Plank pose, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. All right, you with me still? Here we go, let's take it on the left. The left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip, or again, continue around to flip. Beautiful. Side plank, knee into chest. We were here. All right, we're gonna try to keep this hugging in and transition. Left, coming around. Nice, beautiful. And then again, hands down, foot through, warrior two. Wide ring span, deep in the legs. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, straighten the front leg, clip the hips back, you extend forward. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Beautiful, inhale up, exhale, reverse. I already know I'm gonna use my brick. You wanna get it ready for you? <laughs> All right, reverse. Go reverse trikonasana, straightening the front leg. Nice, and then bend the knee, return to warrior two. Okay, here we go, inhale up, exhale, coming around, revolve side angle. Inhale, back up and over, straighten it out, clip it, and then here we go, hand to the hip, and then about halfway through and around, revolved trikonasana. This is where we're headed. So notice this long line outside the left leg and hip, beginning at the foot, okay, and we're gonna take it into balance. So stepping forward, Left hand, right hand there, left hand to the sky, right leg lifts, right? And it's always for me, the gaze and the head, the last, right, the last. So set up, ground up, work the pose. And coming out, nice and easy. Set the back foot down, warrior two. Skandasana. Right twist, open, exhale. Left twist, open, exhale. All the way around, hands down. Step it back, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Inhale onto toes, look forward, bend the knees, step walk or float, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold, chair pose. Revolve chair, turn into the right. Inhale, take it up. Revolve chair, turn into the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, low chair, hunker, hunker, hunker down. And then fold, deep fold. Opposite elbow grab. Or if you feel comfortable, you can bring the palms under if that's a easy meet for you. Padhastasana. Inhale, lengthen heart forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to to get that deep belly connection to thighs. And then it's the leg, ribs that press the legs straight. Roll a bit into the toes. And the wrist down if possible. Centering breath. Centering body. Inhale, unwinding. Sweep the arms and rise up. Hands to heart. Settle with it. Be with it. Nice. 
Inhale, sweep the arms, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to earth. Step it back directly into down dog. We're gonna play with a couple fun balances here, okay? And this one really reminds me of the revolved half moon. So I wanted to come into it from a different angle, okay? So we're doing this from a down dog. So we're gonna have um, more grounded, but it's the same idea in terms of rotation and opposite leg. I have a block ready um, because if the hand doesn't comfortably touch to reach, so I'll show you what's gonna happen. From here, I'm gonna lift my left hand and I'm gonna come back to my right foot, the outside of my right foot. And that may not reach, okay? So if it doesn't, I'm going to elevate what's my foot. I'm gonna elevate my grounded hand. I'm gonna bring that ground up, okay? Now I make it back here. If that's not what I want, I have two blocks for two hands. Now I've got space to reach, okay? So it's up to you with what allows you to feel more grounded, okay? So here we go, right hand down, left hand to the right, okay? Now instead of turning my whole body to the right, I'm gonna stay focused here actually watching either my right foot or somewhere between the two. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to get nice and light on the right foot, and my left hand is going to take its place. Uh, there's no lamps in the way, <laughs> and that right leg is coming up. All right. Three, stay with it. Two, and float it down. Nicely done. Inhale, love the reset of plank. Up dog, if you want to add that. Oh, it feels so nice in the upper back. And then exhale, we'll come on back to down dog. All right. The other thing I did mention, maybe you figured out, you just shorten your dog. It doesn't have to be as extended. All right, here we go. Left hand is down, right comes to the outside of the left. I'm going to use whatever I need to support my hand so they can find the earth. Okay, scoop the belly in. I'm stabilizing through my pelvis, right? And taking it up and reaching it up and climbing it up and then being here, be here in your expression. Breathing in, single point of focus, balancing out the energies in the body. Stay with it. Two more breaths. And then come on down. Beautiful. Inhale, shift forward plank, up dog, and knees down, child's pose. Inhale, come on forward. After all that work throughout the upper body, let's get in the lower half and free it, okay? So we're gonna do a little twisty walk, right leg to the front, Left leg crosses over, right leg crosses over, left leg crosses over, and then we end up with the right leg crossed over. From here, inhale, lift the left leg, lifting up like you're coming towards a warrior three, right? And then exhale, hands down. All right, from here, left knee behind right. Now tuck them in, twist them in. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale again, tuck them in, inhale them out. Exhale, tuck them in. Inhale them out. Exhale, tuck them in, cross the right, left knee outside the right. And then here we are with a little freedom for the upper body. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, twist, turning to the right, hands at heart. Maybe hooking the left arm, press back, two palms meet. And gazing over left shoulder towards right toes. Or up and around the horizon and turning back maybe to the right. Beautiful. 
if Twisted if Ekapata 2 is your deal and you want to come into Twisted, um, you're pretty well set up, right? I'm going to bring the knee into the um, shoulder, high up into the tricep, hands are coming down. I'm going to make that chaturanga shelf, leaning forward, lifting right foot, lifting left foot, and then maybe undoing the legs, extending them straight and long. And close it up and see if you can return from whence you came. Down. Awesome. Inhale, rise up. Stand up and step the feet back together. Settle the breath. Settle the energy. Inhale, wide stoop up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Bring your hands a little bit in front of you. Right, you got some space. We're just gonna bring the right foot, the left foot, and then hold here. So I've got my left foot in front this time. I'm shifting into my hands, feeling that push away, lifting the right leg, and then exhale, bending knee behind knee, curl it in. Now I could be on fingertips, right? I could do this on a block, right? Where do I need to support? And to make this action, this movement, one pose to the next, even for me, balanced for me. How do I support that? Exhale, we're leaving it across and then coming into the seat. Right. Shoulders coming back over hips. The legs are still squeezing, like they never lose each other. They're always hugging, hugging up through the midline, up through the heart, right? And then here with the space, inhale, coming around to twist, rotating the palms press to keep the chest open. You can keep them up high. Or if you like that hook, go ahead and hook it. Right. And then we played a bit with the gaze, right? <laughs> right? So shifting, maybe looking towards the toes here, coming down on the left. Right. Over right shoulder, left toes. I know it gets twisty. And then climbing up the horizon, right? See what that is to look up, up, and then taking it back and maybe then refining. Awesome. Again, if you're coming into that um, twisted revolved ekapata two, we're going to come into it. I'm working the knee up high, and then they're pressing into each other, just like you would the twist. Okay, but you're coming towards the left, down in, feet lift. Maybe the legs extend as well. Hugging, push the floor away, coming back in and seeing about undoing. All right, from the placement, standing up one more time, inhale, rise with me, up. Two feet at the top, exhale. Release the hands, mountain pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back, down dog. Inhale, coming forward plank. Just like in the beginning, push both knees down. All fours. Cow pose, breathing in. Cat pose around and away. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, cross the ankles and come on over the feet. Legs are out in front of you, heels pulling towards you, sitting up tall, raising the arm shoulder height, maybe raising the arm hand height. Right knee into chest, right? left hand comes and crosses over, finds the outside of the shin, right? or finds that baby toe. Pull it in, lift it up, stay with me, extend back through, pulling the chest across, option to take the left leg up, or turn and back around, left foot hugs in, and the right hand grabs the left, hug it into the bum. Right. 
So here we are, right? And a little half lotus variation. I got my little cheat down here. Okay, I'm gonna give you the other setup, should you wish. That would be coming into half lotus, left foot on the inside, right? The left foot on the inside, bending the knee, and then coming up into boat pose here. So I come up into boat pose using perhaps my right hand for support, or again, right hand, two piece fingers will grab the left, and I'm circ closing out my circuit, as it were. Continuing to lift up tall, and exhale, releasing out. Nice, okay. Gently bring the left leg around, extend two legs out, inhale, arms up. Little reset for the spine. Here will be the roll down. So we're having still this opportunity to return to reset. And then fingers up, chin towards chest, exhale, imprint, lifting up, rolling up through, and forward folding. Inhale, rising up, pull the heels in. And again, using the heels to sit up tall, this nice connection, right? rooting and rising, rooting and rising. Arms up, right, arms tall. Awesome. All right. Left leg lifts. We're coming around, working a bit of a twist to start. So again, stay here, working my twist, pulling the knee in. Maybe the outside of the foot was more suited, right? Working this twist to the left. Tall seat, right? Or gaze around. And maybe we're creeping that right foot over. Right foot comes over, right? Maybe we lift it, try not to lean back too much. I keep trying to sit up tall. I'm pulling the knees towards me, legs towards me, using them to rise, okay? So here we go, feel free to stay here, take a break and come on back. Or we're gonna set the leg down, okay? Keeping this close, rotating from the hip, right? Coming inside, half lotus, right? Working that knee towards the ground, foot is into the hip crease. Nice, and back up through. Picking up, finding the right foot to, right hand finds the left foot to start, and then maybe the left hand closes up through the right. And I keep trying to move my right knee towards center. I keep trying to lift the legs towards my chest, my chest towards the legs. Three, staying with me. Two, nice, and then release. Okay, if you've got this in half lotus, feel free to leave it. We're gonna bring the left in as well. Okay, so from here, you can be in a crisscross applesauce kind of seat. <laughs> Sukhasana for you yogis, right? Or Siddhasana, depending on how your heels align. You can join me in half lotus as I am, or you can go for a full lotus if the body complies. Okay, and for that, maybe you sit up onto a blanket, you'll already see how my knees began to drop down, right? As my knees drop down, I get this much more space to move. So we'll see how mine feel for today. Never force, never force it into the knees, right? Don't wanna overstrain these joints. We wanna make sure that's coming from the hips. We're doing a lot of hip mobility this week, so they seem to be accommodating me. You may notice something different, so just be with it, okay? And then from here, breath up, reach the arms up. Exhale, a little forward fold, or a big forward fold. Blocks, if you've been enjoying that. Okay. It's interesting because, you know, the blocks, I'll show you. One of the reasons why I really love the blocks, and um, one of the reasons why I really encourage people to use the blocks. Okay. So, Here's my blanket, right? So I'll show you the whole deal. Here's me without a blanket. Notice where my knees are, okay? I can try to work them down, decent. Now, up, up a little bit in the hips. Oh, look, natural curve present, ease in the spine, no stress for the seat. Love it, okay. So now here's my forward fold. First I'll do without the blocks. Root down, rise, lift, right? Coming forward, coming forward, coming forward. Right, so there I am without the blocks. And then if I come down to elbows, notice the shape of my spine and the depth of my fold, okay? Now, blocks, whatever height, okay? Inhale, same lift, same lift. Exhale, moving forward, moving forward. I had all this more space. Besides I have more space to play, 
you notice how my back is um, a little longer, right? I'm moving further forward. I'm not rounding to get down. So I'm able to and keep my postural integrity as it were and keep those muscles engaged as I wish and the fold really may not be any different or guess what the more I turn on the back I reach forward actually the lower I'm getting I'm actually lower and I'm lower because I use the blocks to support and come into the full length and ease of my spine so you know if depth is your game props work if comfort is your game props work okay all right how about we undo this pretzel okay so take in your time one foot out one leg out both legs out extend them out straight hips move forward and let's take a moment in recline lower down let the legs lengthen out give them a shake out the arms open up Inhale, fingers to the sky. Exhale, chin to the chest, navel down, imprint, and rise up, up, up. Walk the sits bones back and fold, fold, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, lengthen. Nice. Pulling in the heels one last time. Heels pull in, heels pull in. Let's see if we can go big toe, big toe, keeping them tight. And then we'll lift up one and two. Extended boat, lifting up nice and tall. If you've already got the grab comfortably and you think you've got more room to play, then try grabbing on from the back of the legs and keep lifting up nice and tall, reaching up through the spine. Up three, up two. Nice, and then bend the knees, butterfly, okay? Butterfly in nice and tight. Right. Adding the fold here, if that works for you. Adding a blanket here may also work nicely for you. Inhale, nice and tall to the chest. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. I'm still pushing my knees wide and down. I could use my hands to help brace that, or I could just do that really actively turning on those muscles. Opening up through the feet, baby toe sides press. Finding, again, heart reaching forward and beyond. Try not to overdo with the neck and the chin, just neutralize. Feel long through the backs and the sides of the neck. Nice. And then inhale, lift out. Shift them out for diamond, so a little further away. Inhale again. Feel the pelvis begin to spill forward, reach forward, lengthen forward, and then this time, let it round, okay? Let it round, and if you have the space, maybe the block goes here and the forehead goes to the block. If you prefer to send your arms under and through, send your arms under and through. Taking maybe the block on a lower spot. Lifting over the top. Two more breaths. And then gently lift yourself up. Okay. Blacks next to you. Come on down onto the back. Lowering vertebrae by vertebrae. Lengthening out through the legs. Once again, as we worked through the hips today, we did a lot of compression. Right? So we're going to take something and elevate those hips. Um, 
for a supported bridge. As my legs won't be in the air this time, I'm gonna have that block fairly low. I'm gonna lengthen through the lower spine. I don't wanna feel any pinching or impingement on the vertebrae. Maybe it's one leg at a time. That works too. Lowering the block is nice. We'll be here for five breaths. And I encourage you to let those five breaths really resonate with this rainbow of the upper body. So breathe it in through the feet. Let it travel up to the top of the rainbow and exhale down out through the head. Let the breath travel up through the tops of the legs, up through the inner thighs up into the pelvis, and then exhale as it floats down the rainbow and out through the head. Back of the neck grows long as the chin draws towards the throat, and the throat gently lifts to the chin. From here, we're gonna bend the knees, feet to the floor. You're gonna bring the arms, drawing them under you. Maybe you find you have more space than usual, especially you have that block. And then inhale, we're gonna lift the hips, coming off the block, right? Maybe removing the block, coming into bridge pose. If you prefer full wheel, go ahead and come on down, pop the hands under, and then press up head, and then extend the arms nice and straight. Big stretch for the top body rainbow. Two more breaths wherever you're at. Take your time coming down. Gently draw the chin towards the throat, setting the head down with care and rolling through. Feet wide, knees knock together. And the arms rest comfortably or hug across the chest. Neutral pose. And that neutral pose will gently bring you into Shavasana. Or maybe the arms drop first, the hands come to the hips. And then Finding your way to let the legs lengthen out. Arrange the shoulders down and under. Keep the hands onto the hips or belly or open them back up to receive all. Nice in breath in, find that yawn. Exhale out, and do it again. Ah. Put a smile on your face. Feel good about the work you did today. Feel good first and foremost for showing up. Feel good for moving your body, for breathing, for heart and mind. And smile for all the wonderful things your body did for you today all the poses it brought you through, all the movements it allowed you to make. And then just rest in that space of joy, that peace of accomplishment, that sense of vitality. That sense of life, you can feel it in the body, can't you? Your prana, that life force. Dwelling within. I wish you gratitude for it all.
We'll rest these last little bit in silence and I'll wake you when it's time. And gently begin to wake the body. And the legs together, if they were apart, roll the wrists, roll the ankles. Take that big stretch overhead. Walk the knees in and give them a hug. One last time, <laughs> compress them in and rock it side to side. Let the rock carry you over to the side. So roll up and we find our seat. Closing together, hands at heart. Thumbs to third eye. Connection of the wisdom, intelligence of the mind. And it surrenders to the ultimate wisdom of the heart. I thank you each for practice. May you reap its rewards. Tashmana Shri Gurudev Namaha. Namaste.